Hi everybody, welcome to Miss Erin's Bookshelf. Today we're going to be reading Bunny's Book Club by Annie Silvestra, illustrations done by Tatiana May Wiss. Wow, look at all of the animals that have checked out this book. I see bunny, bear, porcupine, and raccoon. That must mean that this is a really good one. Bunny loved books. He'd loved them ever since he first heard the lady with the red glasses reading aloud outside the library. As he listened, Bunny imagined himself climbing mountains, captaining a ship, or ruling a kingdom. But when summer ended, story time moved back inside. Bunny wasn't sure if animals were allowed in the library, but Bunny was sure he couldn't live without books. Night after night, he could hardly sleep for wishing. He had to do something. So, with a flashlight in his paws and hope in his heart, Bunny jumped out of bed and tiptoed through the dark. But when he reached the library door, it was locked. So were the windows. Bunny tried digging, climbing, and yanking. Nothing worked until he finally noticed. The book return. The shiny handle was far above his head, but it was no match for a high-hopping bunny hungry for books. Bunny leapt. He clung to the bar, flung himself over, and wriggled his cotton tail through the slot. He landed inside with a thud. Bunny's eyes sparkled at the sight of the shelves bursting with books. It was better than a field full of fresh, crunchy carrots. Bunny didn't know where to start. He took a deep breath. It smelled as if he were wrapped inside the pages of his favorite book. He followed his nose to the adventure section. There he found stories about swashbucklers, sharks, and superheroes. Bunny greedily grabbed them all. His whiskers twitching with excitement, he slipped his treasures through the book slot one by one. Then, performing his best balancing act, Bunny wobbled home. He couldn't wait to dig in. And so Bunny returned to the library each night. He searched and sneaked, then scurried back to read. Soon, his home was more books than burrow. Then one evening, a loud knock startled Bunny. He closed his book and opened the door. Where have you been? asked Porcupine. Reading, said Bunny. Why, said Porcupine. Bunny's eyes popped wide open. Why? Have you ever been to a library? It was time for Bunny to let Porcupine in on his secret. Are you sure this is a good idea, said Porcupine. Calm your quills, said Bunny. I'm too prickly. I'll never fit. Bunny pushed and shoved until pop went Porcupine. Bunny slipped in and flipped on his flashlight. Whoa, said Porcupine. I know, said Bunny. Do you think there's a story about balloons? I've always wondered about balloons. Most definitely, said Bunny. Sure enough, Porcupine found books on balloons and on deserts and dunes, on caterpillars and cocoons. And when Bunny handed him one about hedgehogs, he hugged it. The two friends took turns cramming books out the slot. Their towers teetered so high they could barely carry them. Back at Bunny's, they cozied up with cups of tea and carrot muffins. Together, they read until sunrise. One night, Bear noticed the light on at Bunny's. He opened the door and tripped over a stack of books. What's going on? said Bear. Here, said Bunny, handing him a book. Bear made room and settled in to read. 
Soon, more curious animals began visiting. Do you have any books about outer space? said Bird. Or about volcanoes? asked Mole. Uh, I'd like a ghost story, said Mouse. I think it's time for a field trip, said Bunny. One by one, the animals stuffed themselves inside the library. Bear caused a bit of a delay. They scattered about, sniffing the snacks, pawing over pages. Squirrel gathered stories about the circus. Raccoon nabbed one about outlaws and bandits. Frog found a fairy tale. No one heard the key in the front door. No one heard the clack, clack, clacking of footsteps. No one heard the light flick on. What do we have here, said the librarian. The animals looked up in shock. Bunny gasped. Porcupine gaped. Bear groaned. Follow me, she said. The animals marched slowly behind her. We're done for her whispered the porcupine. All libraries have rules, said the librarian sternly. Bunny's whiskers trembled. Porcupine's back bristled. Bear eyed the door. Bunny stepped forward to take the blame. The librarian leaned down. The first rule is, every book lover must have one of these, she said. She handed Bunny and his friends shiny new library cards. Now you may borrow books, she said, smiling, as long as you return them, of course. Bunny couldn't believe his ears. They could keep coming to the library. He beamed at his fellow readers, then bounced to the shelves. He picked the perfect book and he proudly checked out the very first selection for Bunny's Book Club. The end. I loved this book because Bunny loved reading so much that he wanted to share it with his friends and help them love reading too. I hope everyone listening to this has a library card and I would love to know what your favorite kind of books are. Let me know. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day and remember to be kind. Bye-bye.